Hey guys, Into the Sky here, and today I'll be creating the 150 scale Tiger One model kit. Let's take a look. Alright, to start things off, I'll show you some of the tools I'll be using. So first off, some of the necessary ones is that you want a good scissor for all the cutting. You're going to want some sort of glue. Uh, this right here is an Elmer's glue, white glue, very common. And then here are some recommended stuff I use. Uh, I use a tweezer to pick up some of the smaller parts. A knife, relatively sharp one, to cut out like long flat edges. Any kind of knife will do, as long as uh, it's pretty sharp. I use a hot glue. Uh, this one is not required, but it's it will save you a lot of time when you assemble like pieces like the roll wheel, uh, where you don't have to cut out um, like those teeth. I'll show you over here. When you're assembling the roll wheels over here, there are a lot of teeth that you see over here. You don't have to cut that out if you use hot glue. And then last but not least, I have a ruler for all the cutting. All right, so that's pretty much it for the introduction. I'll start uh, modeling this kit now. Uh, I'll, pop, I'll kind of do a time lapse of all the construction. I'll also do some detailed videos on smaller parts so you guys uh, it might help you guys out. Alright, so now we'll start gluing the support structure into the hole itself. So for this time, I'll be using hot glue because uh, hot glue is stronger, provides like kind of another structural support for the hole itself. So when doing this, uh, you have three pieces of support, or four, excuse me. So these three big ones go in here and here, and there's this one small one which goes in uh, kind of the lower glazes area. Okay, so we'll start with the bigger ones. Uh, Okay, so the way you want to do this, uh, I'm going to put it in, just try dry fitting it. And then on the side of the model, you see there are some lines, you can barely see it, over here. Okay, that's the support structure, that one, that one, that one. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this in right here, line it up with the side indicators. And it's about like that. Okay, I'm just gonna set this down. It's really important that you set this down on a flat surface, otherwise, when you finish, it's not going to be, uh, it might be warping. Just position right. Okay, so the good thing about hot glue is that you can just go in there and then just kind of apply glue to the area where the support contacts the ground or the bottom of the hole and it's automatically going to create a seal and it's also going to make sure that, that the base is flat.
All right, so now we've completed the basics of the hole. I've went ahead and put some hot glue at the bottom here to kind of stiffen the fenders and the uh, side wall here. So it's on this side. Overall, this thing is very strong. I'm trying to bend this, it's not flexing it off. So right now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna do the details on the hole, which includes the cupolas, the drivers, uh, viewport, some of the back engine, uh, what do you call it? <sighs> vents, yeah, vents, and then we're gonna do the exhaust pipe. So uh, I'm gonna do probably gonna time up for that. Alright, so after we made our um, air filters, we had to do some plumbing and do these pipes. Now these pipes are not included in the model kit, I had to make these myself. Uh, these are a little bit complicated, you don't have to do this if you uh, don't want to get this kind of look, but I really like this piping look, I think that's what makes the Tiger one look so robust. But pretty much what I did is that I rolled up two pieces of paper colored it a little bit with black and great uh, color pencils. I couldn't find any acrylic paint right now, so that's what I had to use. And basically I just bent it upwards to glue it down to these, uh, this piece right here. So what you wanna do is that I cut out, you wanna cut out two pieces of a paper. These are really thin paper, not like the kind of cardstock paper. Now this one I see, let's see what, how long is this? This one's about five and a half, five and a half centimeter. All right, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the longer, the better. Uh, you wanna get a toothpick and then get this piece of paper. You're gonna start rolling from the corner over here. You're gonna still start rolling upwards really tightly. And you wanna give us some really tight spins. There we go. And then you have this thing. Now go ahead and get your PVA glue or the white Elmer's glue over here. Let's get off some of this. Try to dry it up. Sorry. And then this open flap over here, just put some color in it. Or not color, glue in it. And just kind of clean this whole thing up. Some glue over, extra glue over there, it's fine. Alright, so now you've got the tube itself made. Uh, you want to color it on the toothpick itself because it gives it some support so you can get your color pencil. In this case, I'll be using some black and gray to give it that German gray texture or color. Let's set it down the table. Go ahead and use the black, give it like a really light coat of black. You can roll it up a little tighter, but this is how it looks right now. This one is actually a little bit lighter than my other one, so I might have to color match a little bit. But this is a pretty good color, I'd say, if you want to do this from the beginning. 
For me, I gotta darken a little bit to match the other side. Remember, this part's completely optional. You could have stopped without even doing these things, the air filters, and just create the uh, late production addition, which just doesn't have that. Okay, I think that's a good color. Alright, you can just take it out of the toothpick and give it some more tighter rolls. There we go. I want to trim off the pieces at the end where it's kind of pointed. You don't really have to worry about the length because it just don't you don't need a lot of uh, tubes anyways. Okay, now we've got that. Let's go ahead and glue it onto the air filters. Because I'm working on the one on the right side, I'm going to glue this one to the left side. There we go. Now we're going to make the other one. Okay, so now we've got that done. It's really important that you glue the pipes onto the filters first. Because what we're gonna do is that we're gonna place this on there and then start bending these things. Now you wanna get a good fit on the filter and good glue work so that when you bend these things, they don't fall apart. You still don't wanna do it too harshly. Just gently bend this thing upwards. There we go, so that fits through here. And you see, there's like a little gap right there on the exhaust cover. That's for the second pipe. The first pipe just go, kind of goes over the uh, vent right here. You wanna shape this a little bit so that it's easier to fold. There you go. That's a good shape right there. Kinda of eyeball it for positions. See what I see what I said before about the length, you don't have to worry about it because there's always gonna be extra. That looks just wanna get it balanced. Looks about right. Okay, I'm gonna get some hot glue on this piece. Ooh, the light's really bright. There we go. A little bit of hot glue there. Just gonna eyeball this piece right here. Right. There we go. And these two fit perfectly. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so we've got that done. Uh, you want to go ahead and trim these two pieces. For the longer one, that's going to go to the end of this piece. So I'm just going to use my scissor and trim it right. I'll make it this precise. There we go. That's good. And for the other piece, we'll leave that alone for a second. Just gonna glue this piece, this one, the longer one, down first. Remember, not too much hot glue because this will show on the model itself. Just a little bit. There we go. Oops. Get it to dry. That looks pretty good actually, already. Looks beefy. Okay, now the other one just goes to that circular piece right there. So we're gonna cut it over there. And that one we're gonna fill with hot glue to just fill the hole. If you want, you can get like some black coloring in there. So cover up the hole. But for us, we're just gonna fill it up. Just a little bit. Wipe off the excess. And we're gonna glue it to the deck. There we go. Maybe 
Beauty Lilo. Perfect. And that's how you do all the plumbing. Remove all the excess hot glue. And there you go. Here you go, Tiger H1, plumbing is done. Right, so we've got some of the track assembly already complete. I just want to show you guys, uh, there are two types of road wheels here. You got these ones, which is the complete road wheel. And you got these ones, which have like kind of uh, like a crescent over there. These ones are the ones that you need to laminate with the cardboard. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take a piece of cardboard, which is a relatively larger one. Uh, you need to double layer this. So I'm going to cut this out. Okay, the way this is going to work is I'm going to actually put the two flat sides together and then leave the rough sides for the paper. some cliff uh what do you call these clips get it out of there so it's on this side let's make sure we have a good bond between the pages there we go I'm just gonna let that set So now we're going to get to the part where you assemble the row wheels. And this is the part that I'm talking about why you want to use a hot glue. Okay, so we'll start off by rolling these uh, side of the wheels with the brush to give it a shape. Okay. Now we're going to get some hot glue on the wall right here, just like the air filter we did a while ago. So get a little bit of hot glue on there. I might need to refill my hot glue. Okay, join it so that the two sides match up. You can get like a curved shape in it with your hand. Okay. Now, remember we didn't cut out the teeth on the edge, so we can't glue it. But with hot glue, we can still do that by... Why is the light so... There we go. Let's bring up the brightness. We're going to place hot glue on the inside of the wheels. Very gently. It's a new piece of hot glue, so... You're gonna get one of these, 
place it on there, get your right shape. You got the circular shape, and then just flip it over. This way, the hot glue is going to drip downwards uh, into or onto the um, the road wheel, the road wheel piece. This way, you don't have to cut out those teeth, which is, which is going to save you a lot of time. Just leave it there. It's going to drip down onto this piece. It's going to glue those two together. And we're going to do that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and attached both tracks and finished uh, detailing the hole. So we'll take a look. The tracks, I'm very satisfied with this side. You can see there's the sag, kind of kind of this effect right here. And then the roll wheels are really thick from the uh, lamination with the cardboard pieces. And they look really good. So for the uh, details, I really like the way how the air cleaners turn out uh, it's kind of the way that I expected them to be there are also some more details such as the machine gun drivers viewport and hatches we'll also have tracks on this side and that's pretty much it for the detailing now we're going to move on to the turret of the tank Here we have the finished model in its complete form. Uh, you can take a look at the turret. Well, I might not say that this is the best model turret on the market. Of course, well, this thing is free anyways. I don't mean that free things are bad, but for a paper model, this is quite impressive. If you look at it from the top, everything looks fine. But if you look at it from the sides, the turret is just a bit too high. But it still looks nice overall. Uh, I spent a lot of effort to rolling the gun so that it's smooth. Also, these smoke grenade uh, dis uh, dischargers took me a while to model, but they actually look really good. It gives some weight to the turret. And uh, overall, I think this is a very good model. And that's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead and leave a comment down below uh, what you think about this new series. Should I continue it or should I just go back to doing blitz stuff? But overall, I actually quite like the feel of this Tiger. Uh, it's very robust, even though the turret may be a little bit too tall. It gives you the idea that this is a Tiger tank and Tiger tank is supposed to be very robust and these I really like these two tracks that are really wide and give you like the stance that it's very powerful. 
So that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you in the next time.